Hello, welcome to Intelligent Systems. We know learning makes humans better. Let's explore whether learning makes things better, things such as machines better. As you can see, this title is consisting two words. Let's break them into two. The first word, intelligent. When you call someone intelligent, when he or she exhibits intelligence. Where is this intelligence in us? Let's imagine a situation. In slow motion, a mosquito along with its trademark music comes slowly and sits on top of your hand. What are you going to do? You will make that mosquito run immediately with full force. You may have never seen that mosquito earlier yet, isn't it? Why you do that? I say that is intelligence. You have never seen that mosquito earlier probably. But yet you have seen thousand other mosquitoes and you know what happens next if you allow them to sit on your hand. And hence using your knowledge you will take appropriate action for the current situation. That is intelligence. And what is system? System is a set of things working together. System has a very broad meaning, but we will just focus on the technological aspects of the system. System can be as simple as a wristwatch or it can be as complex as a complete interconnected industry. Anything which can work together is a system. Let's bring them together. The intelligence and the system together make intelligent system. These systems can gain and apply their knowledge. The systems which can gain and apply their knowledge are intelligent systems. Where you can see these systems? You may have seen several of them. For instance, when you are exploring a website, you may have seen a virtual assistant offering you some help. These virtual assistants are also known as chatbots. You can type something and ask their help. Immediately you may get a pleasant response but yet there is no other human being involved except you. And other thing, you may have seen or heard about Google Home, Google Nest. These are assistive devices combination of hardware and software to help you make things better. And intelligent systems can contain several of devices in the different layers. You can see them in this picture. The bottom low, the bottommost layer is going to collect data receiving data. This layer can be consisting several things, independent things which acquire data such as CCTV cameras, sensors and many other things. The data collected in this layer is sent to higher layer for transmission. And after the transmission, the data will reach the next layer where it is being stored and analyzed. We are most interested in the topmost layer where 
actually learning and decision making will happen and here the information the data is used to operate different things such as smart factory self driving autonomous cars homes healthcare and so on all these layers are not mandatory in all the applications for instance self driving car may not rely on these uh, technologies for transmission of its uh, critical data you can imagine the car driving at 100 km per hour and uh, suddenly internet connection is lost what it has to do so many of the intelligent systems may be self containing yes we know lots of intelligent systems but why they are so important there is a interesting study by cb insights they have considered top tech companies in the span of around 10 years what these tech giants did is they have acquired many ai startups maybe some of those startups are very important to these tech giants you can see the number of acquisitions were small in the initial years however in the latter years the acquisitions are very high it's growing let's see this in another dimension here you can see in 2010 uh, by the way this is a heat map the darker the color higher the concentration this heat map is showing ai acquisitions however this is also showing the spread of ai companies in different industrial sectors in 2010 the spread is low however in 2009 the spread is went to many different industries the applications of ai which was very limited in 2010 is dramatically increased in 2019 let's just consider one aspect of this artificial intelligence application that is healthcare this one sector according to a study by accenture is worth more than 150 billion dollars say in the span of 5 years by the way what is this ai and what is its relation to the intelligent systems the intelligence exhibited in the machines is known as artificial intelligence let's see this in another dimension a study done by moors insights is showing different industry verticals and different technologies used to apply this intelligence you can see the first variety apps next hybrid solutions combinations of software and the hardware and the cloud apps for instance some web application websites let's consider one example apps for consumer entertainment or retail consumer can access virtual reality systems gaming systems i mean virtual reality apps gaming apps as of now 
he has consumer has access to personal assistants such as google home nest and there are cloud apps for instance uh, online shopping sites where advertisements are targeted for instance when when you buy a mobile phone new mobile phone you might be interested in buying additional warranty its flip cover back cover tampered glass memory card so on so these advertisements are quite helpful for the consumer also and quite beneficial for the business also and there are certain new sectors new ai application or the intelligent system application sector such as agriculture which was uh, which was thought it is a very hard sector to apply ai once now there are field drones robots which help you in agriculture there are certain things such as flow control for irrigation system and there are sensor networks for analyzing the crop the yield or the the moment for giving the fertilizers or the or the pest control and there is one more interesting thing now the terminology used here is machine learning what is the relation between the intelligent system artificial intelligence and the machine learning we will see that next